All right, time for part two of D&D December. Alright, so, last time I was here... Oh yeah, we gotta go find us a cure, that's right. This is boring! We should train against real goblins! I know. The Blade of Frontiers. What a thrill for the children. <laughs> They're tough kids. Smart, too. The future's in good hands. Go on. Give me a best shot. <laughs> Not bad. Again. just have to buy enough time to run. Come on. I believe in you. You can do this. Well met. The Blade of Frontiers at your... The man's smile bends My down. smiles bend downward, and his thoughts his become yours. You are the Blade of Frontiers. You are the Blade of... Frontiers racing through the waste of Edmund. So just ahead of that battle figure, red skin, singles, curl horn, blazes with flame, bloody great axe held high. Blazes with flame, bloodied great axe held high. Hell's great fires. You are on the ship. You saw her then. Advocatus Diaboli. Her name is Karlak, an archdevil soldier I swore in my good eye to kill. I tracked her through the hells to the Mind Flayer ship, but the damned Illithids infected me before I could end her. She's out there now, preying on the innocent. I don't kill her, she'll leave behind nothing but a trail of corpses. I'd be a fool if it didn't. I know the stories. Doomed to shed my skin. Become a lithid. And there's no coming back. But I haven't sprouted any tentacles. At least not yet, thank Baldurin. Could just be good luck. But sooner or later, it's bound to run out. An excellent suggestion. But your party's full up. Still, when the time comes, call for the blade. I won't be long to answer. A splendid plan. We'll talk more there. All right. So now we got another party member. Great. But enough of that here. Let's go search for that cure. Make sure it's all the way over there. All right. Well, I guess it's time to head westward. chamber. Uh, I'll come back later. I'm not probably uh, set for the occasion. We'll be back a little later.
so there is somebody up there. Just can't get to him just yet. Oh, Daddy's here. That's right. I forgot about that. I nearly forgot that's why I came here. Those are some big oxen. That's a critical fail in its own right. That's just a regular fail. I see now. Every time you fail, you use up a uh, thieves tool. Okay, things are making a little more sense now. Oh my god. Well, there goes that. Wow. That's just a low blow right there. Here is the martyr's cries, taken ill and oppressed. When one to help the others dies, then by ill matter they are blessed. Jurgal, or so it's often said, once gave away his bony throne. For Kelimbor, he tracks the dead, makes sure the dead souls do not roam. Kelimbor, lord of the dead, will take your hand when death arrives. Make sure souls are correctly led to all their proper afterlives. Okay, you know what? Hold on, I'm going to... We're gonna start this again here, because I can't believe I wasted all those thieves tools on just one stupid chest just because of a stupid all the fails. So aggravating. Because I want to hang on to these, because you never know when it's gonna happen. I'll talk to him again. Talk to Will. Go on. Let's skip all through this. We just have to buy enough time to run. Well met. The blade of frontiers at your you. <sighs> Hell's great fires. You were on mm. doomed to shed our skin and become a lithid, or so the stories go. But we haven't sprouted any tentacles. Your minds collide once, minds collide once more. Will chases Jesus the fiend, the ignited with her core. She is an infernal war devil. Infer a threat to the living, evil incarnate. Advocatus Diaboli. Advocatus Diaboli. The devil's advocate, champion of the blue, war between diabolical forces and demons. Between diabolical forces and demons. That ship sailed the sticks already. All I can hope for is to limit the damage. Her name is Karlak, an archdevil soldier I swore on my good eye to kill. I tracked her through the hells to the Mind Flayer ship, but the damned Elithids infected me before I could end her. She's out there now, preying on the innocent. I don't kill her, she'll leave behind nothing but a trail of corpses. 
Just so you know, my first duty is Karlak. I'm oath bound to go after her. But I won't deny this infection is bothersome. I accept your invitation. You'll need to make room if you want to partner up, though. Still, when the time comes, call for the blade. I won't be long to answer. A splendid plan. We'll talk more then. Okay, so now we're back. Oh, man. Oh, man. I have to not to poop once again. Like I'm gonna pick up a chest and like I'm gonna be a brute about this. That's better. Success. All right, that's better. Now let's go get this cure taken care of. Ooh, talk to him. Just one time only. Heads it is. See? That's the kind of luck you get from one of my lucky rings. I've got more where that came from. Unless he uses a two-headed coin. Interested? Okay, fair. Let's go again. Heads or tails? Call it. This time I'm gonna say tails. We got tails! There. Happy? Got it. One sec. That's what I got. All right. Anyways. have anything I want, so... Yeah, it doesn't have anything I want, unless I don't think he has anything I want. That's good enough for me. Everybody says it looks like junk and moves on. Oh, you have. You definitely have. Anyway, see you again sometime. Take care. Safe travels. You realize your bag feels, you realize your bag feels light. You were just robbed. Robbed. That little... Stuff? Me? No, probably. 
promise. I'm just a kid trying to make a living. You know who you should talk to? Mal. She's my boss, I guess. Good at finding stuff. Her office is through the crack in the wall over there, if you can fit. You bet. Good luck, pal. Druid's Grove. Okay, so that didn't do anything. Kind of hoping it would make the hole bigger so it can fit. Out of my way. Let my daughter go right now! She's a thief, hell spawn. And you will wait for Corgus' judgment. Now get back! Let me through, Brad Rochelle, or I'll rip your damn throat out. One's a druid. One's a druid. Come, Magwin. Give him a chance. You get back. Forbidden to outsiders. Corgus orders. Kick back. Force my hand and I'll show you its claws. A moment, Giona. What? Oh. I understand. You. Apparently Corga wants to see you. Go ahead. Now we're at Emerald Grove. So we got another quest available now. Kaga. Madness, Korga. She's just a... A what, Raph? A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. Girl. You mean parasite. She eats our food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Tila is restless. Come, Korga. We took back the idol. Surely... Do it. Critical success. Nice. How sinister. I am first. 
Emperor's Druid now. I will take control and prove my authority. Fair words. Child, take to the others word of my grace. Sif, Sif, Tila, to me. Thank you, Gorga. Master Holsen would- Halsen isn't here. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Tila pierce it. That was... interesting, to say the least. Go on. Say it. You think I'm a monster? Somebody wants to have a word with me. I know that look. You're wondering why I was in pain before. Let's just clear the air about that now. It's just an old wound that hurts me from time to time. Nothing to be concerned about. It's nothing to do with the tadpoles, at least, in case your imagination is in danger of getting away from you. It's just something I have to live with. a lot, if I'm being honest. But it always passes quickly, so I can manage. Positive. You can trust me on that. There's Nettie. from your worst nightmare. All slime, teeth, and tentacles. I... Uh, I'll do what I can. Come, follow me. I might be able to help.
Enclave Library. This one had the same problem as you. Attacked us in the woods together with some goblins. Tadpole crawled out of his head soon after. Instead of him, he understands these things, studied them. Still, we have options. You don't have to be here for this. Please, don't mind me. I'll just watch. All right. Let's see what we can do. This is gonna be pleasant. She shifts uneasily, hesitating. She kind of shifts uneasily, so hesitating. Something's off. off. It might. But first things first, tell me about your symptoms. Have you noticed anything strange happening? <laughs> victims can identify each other. Not that the others know they're victims, of course. How'd you pick up the parasite? Halson was desperate to find where all this was happening. A mind flare ship? Master Halson was sure. Look, you've been straight with me, so I'll be straight with you. You're dangerous. If you transform here, we're all dead. But you seem like a good soul. You deserve a chance to save yourself. This is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me, you'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. The thorn? Coated in a fatal toxin. It was a last resort. In case I couldn't trust you. I don't have a cure. Only a way out. I'm sorry for misleading you. But I had to be sure you weren't a threat before I told you everything. Now, do I have your word or not? I hope it doesn't come to that. But... Thank you. Here. You know, I've spent my life treating folk and never once saw a mind flare infection. Then suddenly, there's dozens of you. Maybe more. Master Halson and I were tracking them, studying them, trying to figure out what the hell's was going on. Because you should all be changing. There should be a small army of mind flares out there. But you're not. Weird powers aside, you seem perfectly normal. For one, that thing in your head is like nothing we've ever seen from Mind Flayers. It's one of their worms for sure. But this one gives you powers, telepathic connections. And it doesn't turn you into one of them. Not yet, anyhow. Could be. But there's a lot we don't know. Infected. Folks like you have been converging on an old temple of Saluna, and I've no idea why. When Master Halson heard the adventurers were heading that way, he saw a chance to get answers, joined on the spot. Whatever he found there, he didn't make it back. I think so. I hope so. I've sent birds to find him, but they can't get close without goblins trying to shoot them down. You, though, you're one of them. Technically speaking, I mean, they won't kill someone carrying their parasite. If you can find Halson and get him out of there, we can discover what he learned. And perhaps he can save your life. How's that sound? I can't make any promises. This is like nothing we've seen before. But I know this for sure. Master Halson is the only one close to understanding these things. He's your best bet to survive. Otherwise, that vile's your only option. The way I see it, you have two options. Halson, 
or that wyvern poison. I don't envy your choice, truly. But this is the hand fate's dealt you. Thank you. It would mean everything to the grove, to me. I wish I could tell you more, but only those adventurers know what happened out there. All I can say for sure is they all went to the old temple of Saluna. And Master Halson didn't make it back. Good luck out there. And if things start to go bad, remember the vial. Remember your oath. Okay, so I got a little uh, vial of wyvern poison. Closer look. Oh, before I get going here, finding this, uh, Of course, I'm not going to steal anything here. That would be wrong. I want to keep everything in good order. Anyways, I'm going to rest up before I uh, started. Oh, there it is. There's the resting menu. I'll be back here in just a short short. Talk to these folks here. If you ever scare me like that again, and I'll feed you to a knoll. Mom, I'm fine. Stop it. Our little Hellion told us what happened. Thank you. Don't know what we'd do without her. one here. I gotta lock it. Alright, anyways. So there was, there were some bedrolls here earlier. Oh, I need to take the torch. Let's take a torch. We're not gonna go through the shabby door just yet. Where's 
can I see these bit? Oh, here we go. General tutorial. At your camp, you can take a long rest and fully heal your party. You can also manage party members' advanced relationships with your companion store items and eventually change your character and recruit more followers. Oh, what does he want? It's quite a sight. The stars, I mean. I could take or leave your chin. I am. I've been thinking, reflecting on what tomorrow might bring. When we find the druid, will he know how to bring the worm under control? Will this little adventure of ours be over? Good. I don't want you to run off just yet. Ah, uh, dude, go elsewhere. I didn't. Why don't, ooh, better idea. Why don't you hit down on that, uh, after all. on that Traversing woman? Traversing a Vernus. Surviving the crash. Surviving everything that's followed. I'm not easily impressed by people, but you're... Says, I still want to... I still want to romance with Shadowheart. I like her. You... have your charms. More than you think. The smile on his pretty lips is a touch to compose. A bit too perfect. He may not mean a word he says. True. He may not mean a word he says. Making me a little awkward. Oh. You're no fun. Sleep tight. I'll see you later. I'm sure. Right. Okay, Lazel. A fine evening, don't you think? shines warmly on us. The breeze caresses our faces. Hideous. All of it. Would that I were doing battle up there, among the tears. Look above. Watch the moon cross the sky. The tears follow behind it. Rocky bodies tumbling through the sea of night. One of them is my crash. sheltered. My entire clutch battled beholders deep within the eye of the sky. We infiltrated an Yogi spell jammer and laid waste to its crew. The tears span Toral's sky, Venisk. There is more to this realm than this grassy pebble. But enough of this. You are wasting your resting time. Come dawn, we resume our search for a crash. Nice uh, chat with you. Oh, hey, Will. A tingle runs through your head and down to your feet. Ah, there it is. That shiver. Our little brain worms have made fast friends, it would seem. How do you feel? Courage in danger shadow. I love to see it. But shouldn't the shadow have crept closer? gone darker by now. Before the Elithids' unscheduled surgery, I'd felled hundreds of beasts and a fair few fiends. The tadpoles weakened me, suppressed greater talents, but beyond that, I've showed no signs of turning. No nausea, no pain, not even a hot flash. The worm's vat was poisoned. Perhaps we're uncommonly fit. Or perhaps the tadpoles are merely on holiday. We could conjecture all night. I suppose the why doesn't matter so much as the what next. And that answer is plain as the horns on a war devil's head. We get these things out. Let's get some rest. Dawn comes sooner than we think. Hmm. 
But they are right. But they're right. We do need our rest. No. Oh, Shadow Heart. The leader of the pack comes to chat. What's on your mind? You must be pleased to have a clear path forward. The sooner we find the Druid House in, the better. I can't wait to get rid of this thing in my head. I hadn't thought of that. What do you have in mind? try that again. That was, well, can't now. That's a little too late now. Well, that blew that opportunity. Oh. What are you up to now? Okay, so that's how we rest up here, which is good, because we're going to need all the strength we can get to rescue this druid. I'm probably sure these stone tablets wouldn't uh, be of use anyways. level up. Alright, well, let's get him leveled up.
Arcane Trickster. Arcane Tricksters are rogues with a clever touch of magic, using illusions and enchantments to keep their opponents on the back foot. So what two are we going to give him? Expanded. Hmm. So many choices here. He's now level three. Nice. Very nice. Don't have no essences though, nor vitrols. Anyways, let's go get this uh, druid rescued. I want to talk to him. Ah, my good friend. You were at the gates just now, no? When the goblins came? You saw them up close? A few questions, if you please. There's no overstating my interest. Glory. Now then, how would you describe that particular batch of goblins? Size? Nature, distinguishing qualities. It's such a mind. Such Research my successfully recalling various details various of goblin details behavior. Of goblin behavior. Goblins were of a rare gem colored hue and wielded magic blowguns. A myth weaver. This man has no respect for truth. And the dragon they had marching in the rear, was it of the brass or silver variety? The truth, my friend! Not a jot, more or less! Last question, then you'll be quite free. Did the attackers rally to the absolute when they fell upon the gates? They did! 
didn't they? Oh, oh, curious. Oh, curious indeed. I've interrogated one. A captive in this very camp. She reports they've abandoned their god, McLoviet, in favor of someone called the Absolute. The scandal! Ah, but is superstition all? These goblins are informed by a kind of strategy anathema to their kind. I, for one, intend to get to the bottom of it. I'm just preparing to head to their camp as we speak, in fact. If you'll excuse me, I ought not to dawdle. My friend, every story benefits from a dragon. Until we meet again. Um. Pardon me, I must prepare to travel. Good day, my friend. To the goblins camped nearby, of course. I've been tracing their doings with great care. Whoever this absolute they're worshipping might be, I'll be the first to write about it. Yeah. Yeah, have fun and try not to get yourself killed, all right? Especially because the door's all the way over there. So, we have to head westward. Oh, right, I gotta go back here. That's right, I forgot all about that, since I saved the refugees. Well, I have to return to this Z person. Thank you for protecting the child. If the druids are this far gone, then it's not just goblins we have to fear. So we can risk violence here, or face it for certain on the road. Quite the choice, isn't it? No, the druids are too powerful. We can't stand against them all. It's Korga's influence. Without her twisting things, I believe the druids might see sense. It's good of you to offer, but there's a whole army of goblins out there. We'd need an army of our own to escort us safely to Baldur's Gate. And while I don't doubt your abilities, you're no army. There may be a way, though. Goblins ill-disciplined. It's unlike them to organize so cleverly. Somebody must be leading them, bringing discipline to their ranks. Take out that leadership, and they'll scatter. It's no small thing to ask, but I've seen you fight. You're equal to the task. Everyone in this camp depends on it. Thank you. We'll be ready to leave as soon as you give word. Alright, but it's gonna be a little while, though. Well, wait. If these are just goblins I'm gonna be dealing with, this shouldn't be too much of a problem. Should it? I mean, I don't know, hard to say. And since we are rested up, might as well uh, take that chance. All 
dinosaur on the other side of Emerald Grove. Seems like I can get a bunch done here today. But we have to go back down. Hmm. How is one supposed to get across that or around? Road. Okay, there has to be a way down there. I ain't going to jump. The Blade of Frontiers. Let's hope Will lives up to his name. We'll need all the help we can get. Fine. What's on your mind? You're not the kind of company I'd keep willingly. But all things considered, you'll do. And... I haven't forgotten that you saved my life aboard the Nautiloid. Perhaps I'll be able to return the favor at some point. Hmm. Unless I have to go, whoop. unless I have to go the long route. Some tells me I think I might have to. Used to think that goblins would kill us the second we set foot outside. But after hearing what you did at the gate, well, I still think they'll kill us. But at least we can put up a fight. We're tougher than we look. We've survived persecution, survived a burners. Who knows? Some of us might even make it to Baldur's Gate. And then there's stupid, hun. Plenty of us fell to monsters already. I don't see the rest of us lasting long out there. But if you're so sure we will, why not put a little gold on the line? <laughs> no, 
It's not. None of this is funny. But at least this way there's something to play for. Come on. What do you say? Excellent. And since I ain't one to leave a debt unpaid, that means we're destined to meet in Border's Gate. Looking forward to it. I... Uh... Anyways, let's move on. So I think someone tells me I might have to take a long route out. No, 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 no. This way. So, which means I have to go... Some respect. This really isn't the time to talk. Not now. Please. Enemy silence. Avoid enemy silence. Highlighted in red while sneaking to remain hidden. Heavily highlighted red areas will may reveal your position.
takes care of that. Swift as my feet can carry me. You have good timing. Never been much of a fighter, so wrestling a bugbear would have gone poorly. But you're not here for heroics, are you? Avernus's stench is all over your skin. Let me guess. Your devil mistress sent you to get her soul coin back. Too bad. I earned it, fair and square. You almost seem honest. Care to explain why you reek of the hells? Soul coin. True to its name, holds a mortal soul inside. It serves in the nine hells as very valuable currency. Subclass features superior dice four. Your superiority dice are D eights, you have four. At fighter level ten, these dice become D tens. They fuel your battle master maneuvers and are expanded expanded upon use. You regain expanded superiority dice after a short or long rest. Gain three passives maneuvers. Hmm. I get to pick three of these, huh? Nice. Let's see here. Commander strike, direct an ally to strike a foe. The ally uses a reaction on their next turn to make a weapon attack. Disarm me. Spend a superiority die to make an attack that deals an additional 1d8 damage and possibly force trying to drop the weapons they are holding. Hmm. Alright, so I want precision for sure. Here, know what I want. All right, now my character's level three. I think this is gonna be just fine. Now she's leveled up too. She too is also a battle master. Assassin.
now we start making our way westward now that we're a little so before I do that I'm gonna save it perfect yeah right, let's carry on Something within you stirs in response. Eyes with you, a familiar squirming churns in your head. Your mind's intertwined. You see his siblings, Hendrick and Brenna, new recruits, yours to Shepard. Protect them. He is a true soul. He's a true soul. Mind him. He will. He. He. Edward! Ed! Please! He's with the Absolute now. You're. You're a true soul. Edwin, our brother, he was chosen. Like you. Do you have orders for us? We were reporting to Edwin. testing us a true soul like you has been chosen by the absolute you speak with her voice your words are her command <clears throat> she grants you the power to enforce her will and when the time comes the true souls you will rule ah, I will serve at no ruler's side but my Queen's too well, sir, but the Absolute sent us here. We're looking for fugitives, survivors from that ship that crashed farther west of here. You! Uh, Brenna, kill him! Power resonates within the corpse. It calls to you. It calls to you. Your limbs move on their own accord. 
there's something of value here. Something your mind craves. Why let its hosts? Why let its host memories go to waste? The temple has absorbed it all. Its experience could nourish you, strengthen you. Muscles loose and the temple breaks free of its deceased host. Your mind is your own again. For now. There's so many you can actually get rid of these twisting vines. I mean, they don't hurt, but... with the famed Blade of Frontiers. I feel safer already. You're talking to the wrong person, my friend. So I took some minor scrapes here. And I think we're gonna have to come back later. As of right now, there's nothing of value. Yeah, we'll be back a little bit later. I'll take some minor scrapes, but that's okay. These guys have seen better days.
Drawn a thick charcoal lines upon an animal skin, this childlike portrait depicts three stick figures, a gamble with sparks in its hands, a square humanoid figure, and what seems to be an elf. Each of them is wearing a simple crown. Uh... Yeah. seems to be fresh only a few hours yet, but you can't find any sign of a wound. You can't find any sign of a wound. See nothing. Come on, we're wasting our time. Carlock is going to have to wait because I don't have Will with me. Yeah, so that's going to have to wait. Power courses through you. Authority. I never thought that, uh, persuading goblins would be this easy, and I didn't have to kill him. So I guess that counts for something. I guess. She's gonna take the safe route.
guys. I didn't have to kill a single goblin. So that's always good to know. to say, for your journey is just beginning. What would suit the occasion? Hmm. The words to a lullaby, perhaps. The mouse smiled brightly. It outfoxed the cat. Then down came the claw. And that? Love was that. <laughs> they do know how to write them in Cormier, don't they? Well met, I am Raphael. Very much at your service. Where are your brothers, uh, Leonardo, Donatello, and Michelangelo? Neither. The fox, rather. Hiding, in a word. A silent observer, about to break the silence. Of course, what I have to say merits some privacy, as well as some more, let's call it, refinement. This quaint little scene is decidedly too middle of nowhere for my tastes. Come. entertained? Well, far be it from me to disappoint you. What's better than a devil you don't know? The devil you do know. <laughs> a devil you do. Am I a friend? Potentially. An adversary? Conceivably. But a savior, that's for certain. Because my compassion is boundless, I stride among the needy, giving comfort where I can. And you're in dire need. One skull, two tenants, and no solution. I could fix it all, like that. Hmm, this is a tough one here. Number one is obviously desperation right there. Number two is a little bit more conscientious because at least uh, keeps you on your toes. Number three is uh, a little more passive aggressive and number four, it's either two or three I'm gonna have to go with. 
what is madness but a denial of reality? Still, I have a feeling you'll change your mind before it's changed for you. Try to cure yourself. Shop around. Beg, borrow, and steal. Exhaust every possibility until none are left. And when hope has been whittled down to the very marrow of despair, that's when you'll come knocking on my door. Hope. <laughs> Such a tease. By all means, bite the hand that feeds you while you still have teeth. All those pretty little symptoms Sundering skin, dissolving guts, they haven't manifested yet, have they? One might say, you're a paragon of luck. I'll be there when it runs out. Well, that was... weird. To say the least. But, let's continue on. That's a pathway to the north, but we don't go north. We gotta go west. Let's go get this gnome guy taken care of. Look what we got here! Another little birdie wanting to fly! Stop this thing! <laughs> Flap those wings some more, and I'll feed you a worm! And you! Hope you got a stomach for rights. What's it bloody look like? We're teaching this here pipsqueak to fly. Cause it makes me laugh. <laughs> This little cave lurking what's it? Find your own. He's ours! As the symbol glows. As the symbol glows, power, power courses through you. Authority. authority. Another one? Authority. Another authoritative figure.
Oh my god, I'm gonna have to do this again. I didn't want it to go like this. Says I'm not going through that devil thing again. Player, as if trying to judge you judge through smell alone. We're leaving. More further, no. Ain't we supposed to bring it to? I said we're leaving. There's plenty of sport and rich pickings out there for us. Move it. Charlotte's are just passing through. Astron is inspired.
Shadowheart's attention is Shadow Heart's attention fixed, fixed on a damaged gold statue. statue. I still have hope. I have reason to believe he's in the Underdark. Hopefully, I'll pick up his trail from there. I always help my friends. On that note, <clears throat> I bid thee farewell. If we should meet again, well, we will have met again. Hmm. Well, that takes care of that. That's uh, going on with me here. As you approach, a guttural scream and a succession of quick bangs rattle the door. Then alone when someone or something is having a bit of fun. in there, so we'll probably come back a little later. Maybe when we're a little bit stronger, then we'll, uh, Beast. Beast. 
fit for an ogre. You notice a peculiar, a peculiar dagger protruding from the tough, leathery meat. Protruding from the tough, leathery meat. You notice the blade is at an angle to the meat's grains. If you align the dagger with the grain, it should slip out easily. Thanks to your keen eye, the dagger glides smoothly out of the mystery meat. Let's continue on. Him again. Bonet, I am Raphael. Night, night. Come. There, middle of somewhere. The house gone. It might just be your last. Call it a ninth sense. So with that out of the way, let's uh, move on. All right, that piece of business taken care of. Um, hmm. So which means in order to get through this, I think I have to go back to the village. Well, it looks unremarkable. Dry stones, Dry stones line the wall. At the bottom, something gleams in the dappled light.
Whispering Depths. You know what? I think I'm gonna stop it here for now. here. I will see you all next time.